these people who uh, lived right down the street from my dad's office, right? And they were about my mine and my wife age, and they had a, the kid. Their kids were about the same age as my my girls. Um, and they what happened was is that they had uh, you know a uh, one of those smokers, the electric smokers that were supposed to turn off. Well, it didn't turn off, and it was too close to the house, and it shorted out, and it ended up burning uh, half of their house down. Okay. And there were, you know, their, their, their two kids were in one room and luckily like my kids at the time, you know, they had, they had climbed into bed with mommy and daddy. Otherwise it would have been a, a much worse story that I'm telling right now. Wow. Um, but we arrived there that next, we got a call that morning. We arrived, you know, cause we we're right down the street. We arrived there that morning and just to see the look on those people's faces, right. Uh, you know, the, the wife had one, you know, one slipper on and, and, you know, just one, one of them had a cell phone. They just looked disheveled. The kids were crying. And just to see the way that the claims adjuster took care of that situation. He had a check right then ready for them and said, Hey, listen, I know you don't have any clothes. I know you don't, you know, you don't have this or that. Here's a check that you can go do all this stuff. Hey, by the way, I, I, I know that you're not going to have a home for a while. You know, there's, there's actually a, a you know, a, we did some research and there's a home right down the street that's for, you know, for rent right now. Right. And it, it's just, it, it kind of triggered in my mind that, wow, this is much different than I actually thought it was right. It went from something being, you know, kind of some boring job and, and that nobody wants to do right. Uh, nobody wants insurance. Nobody wants to talk about insurance to, wow, this is like, this was protection. I can, I can get into this, right? 